So what we're going to try to do today is start out with a random Wikipedia page article and then go to a second random Wikipedia page article and see if we can find a way to connect the two. So this is going to be our goal. It's the 2002 Pacific 10 Conference Men's Basketball Tournament. It was played between March 7th and Mar March 9th, 2002 at Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. The event was revived after a 12-year hiatus. USC, the University of Southern California, made their first appearance in the final game. The champion of the tournament was Arizona, which received the Pac-10's automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. The most outstanding player was Luke Walton of Arizona. A, sta a Staples Center capacity crowd of 18,997 watched the championship game. So we got Luke Walton, son of Bill Walton, also the current coach for the Los Angeles Lakers. He did have a uh, a career with the LA Lakers as well. I think he won two championship rings. I mean, that, I mean, that was Kobe. Um, so, that's our goal. It might be difficult to actually get to uh, that one. We can get to Pac-10, uh, and then I'm not sure if they have the individual tournaments listed, but we can get there. But let's find out where we're going to start at. Level 42 are an English band who had a number of UK and worldwide hits during the 1980s and 1990s. Their most successful single in the UK was Lessons in Love, which reached number 3 on the UK singles chart and number 12 on the US Billboard Hot 100 chart upon its release in 1986. Uh, they also had a single Something About You was their most successful single in the United States, reaching number 7 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Well, uh, that's probably the way to go, something about you to get to America. But uh, I don't know if that will necessarily lead to that. What we need is a basketball player. And this is back to the goal of the Pac-12, Pac-10, I guess, now, back then. Um, Luke Walton, Sam Clancy. It's going to be Luke Walton. So I've got to find a way to Luke Walton. That's the Lakers. Or basketball. we just got to find a way to basketball, and then we can find a way to the Pac-10. So... Let's go with the Billboard Hot 100 chart. We're going to leave level 42 pretty quickly. Uh, Billboard Hot 100 chart is the music industry standard record chart in the United States for singles. Published weekly by Billboard magazine, chart rankings are based on sales, physical and digital, radio play, and online streaming. Let's see, we want to go, let's go year-end charts. Nope, nothing, oh, there it is. So they're a cumulative measure of a single or album's performance in the United States based upon the Billboard magazine charts during any given chart year. Billboard year in number ones. That's where we want to go. So 1946, the first one, Prisoner of Love by Perry Como. 1947, Near You, Francis, Francis Craig. 1948, 12th Street Rag by Pee Wee Hunt. Riders in the Sky, Yvonne Moreau Orchestra. Gordon, Goodnight Irene, Gordon Jenkins and the Weavers. Too Young by Nat King Cole. Blue Tango by Leroy Anderson. 
Leroy Anderson. Song from Moulin Rouge by Percy, Percy Faith. That's going to skip a little bit. Sugar Shack by Jimmy Glimmer and the Fireballs. I want to hold your hand, the Beatles. Hey Jude, the Beatles, Sugar Sugar, the Oshies. Bridge over troubled water, Simon and Garfunkel. Joy to the world. Three Dog Night. Tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree. Tony Orlando and Don. Love will keep us together. Captain and Tanil. Tonight's the night. Rod Stewart. My Sharona. My, my, my Sharona. By the neck. Call me Blondie Betty Davis Eye. Kim Carnes. Physical. Let's get physical. Olivia Newton John. Every breath you take. The police. When doves cry, Prince. Careless Whisper, Wham, featuring George Michael. Walk like an Egyptian, Bangles, Faith, George Michael. Hold on, Wilson Phillips. So, Gangster's Paradise, Coolio, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize nothing's left. Candle in the Wind, 1997. So, what, what, what was I going to? Uh, basketball players. We need basketball players. In the club, 50 Cent. Yeah, Usher, Ludacris. Can we get two basketball players from Ludacris? We can, uh, Fast and Furious, um, The Rock. Was The Rock ever in a movie with Shaq? So, what, what, who was in a movie with Shaq? Um, uh, I think he was in, uh, what was that movie with, uh, The Grown Ups, Grown Ups 2? So, Grown Ups 2, that'd be Adam Sandler. We we can go we can go through the rock to get that. Uh, Love yourself, Justin Bieber, Uptown Funk, Mark Ronson, and Bruno Mars. So yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go uh, ludicrous. Christopher Bridges, better known by the stage name Ludicrous, is an American hip hop recording artist and actor from Atlanta. A mouthful of platinum, mouthful of gold. Let's look at his controversy. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. And Pepsi. We're actually looking for filmography, but let's check out the Pepsi thing. Uh, okay. Uh, Bill O'Reilly called for America to boycott Pepsi because I guess Ludacris was a. Um, in a commercial. And then Pepsi hired Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, it doesn't really mean anything. Okay, filmography. Did I miss that? There it is. Furious 7. Snow Dogs. The Fate of the Furious. Break Away. No Strings Attached. Max Payne. Uh, we're going to Fury 7. Uh, is a 2015 American action film directed by James Wan. Seventh installment, oddly enough, the Fast and the Furious franchise. Stars Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Michelle Rodriguez, Tyrese Gibson, Chris Bridges. Stars a bunch of people. Kurt Russell. I haven't actually seen him, but I didn't know Kurt Russell was in it. Uh, going to the rock. Uh, 1972. Also known by the name The Rock. American actor, producer, singer, and professional wrestler. Holds American and Canadian citizenship. Uh, 
he was raised between New Zealand and the United States of Hawaii and Pennsylvania. College football player for the University of Miami, where he won a national championship for the 1991 Miami Hurricanes football team. You know, we could probably go uh, through the football team. Uh, do you want to go through football team? Or do you want to go through uh, the movie? What was the movie that we're looking for? It's got uh, Will Ferrell. Samuel L. Jackson. Um, it's one when they play the cops. We'll, we'll go through that because I can't think of the title right now. Or I'll just go down here and look at it. The other guys. So, uh, the other guys is the 2010 action comedy film directed and co written by Adam McKay. Sergeant Will Farrell. Mark, Wa Mark Wahlberg features Michael Keaton, Eva Mendez, Steve Coogan, Ray Stevenson, Dwayne Johnson, Samuel L. Jackson. So I think uh, we're still trying to get to, I think, Shaquille O'Neal. And we're trying to find something uh, he was in. Uh, and so we need to find Adam Sandler. Because uh, that's the only thing I can think of uh, that he was in. So I'm not sure really why we came here. But we'll go to uh, Samuel L. Jackson. American actor, film producer, Jungle Fever, Patriots game. I didn't know he was in that. Uh, Pulp Fiction, True Romance, Jackie Brown, Black Snake Moan, Star Wars, pretty cool. Nick Fury. Let's look at, check out his filmography. We're looking for something Adam Sandler was in. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, maybe, maybe that wouldn't really work. Was that uh, Untitled Avengers film? The Return of Xander Cage. I guess we could have gotten uh, uh, from Fast and Furious 7, Furious 7 to there. Hateful Eight, Kingsman, Robocop, Remake, Turbo, Django Unchained, The Avengers, The War, Iron Man 2, Astro Boy, Jumper, Cleaner, Resurrecting the Champ, Snakes on a Plane, Tired of These Snakes, Coach Carter, Kill Bill Volume 2. It's been a while since I've seen that. I, I don't remember that cameo. Triple uh, X. Changing Lanes. That was with Ben Affleck. Shaft. Rules of Engagement. Deep Blue Sea. That has LL Cool J. Could we, could we get there? We, we, what? As, um... Long kiss, good night. Great white hype. You know, we're just gonna kick, click on a random one and hope we can kind of find a way. Because uh, I'm I'm drawing a blank right now. But I mean, we're we're getting close. We just got to get to football. So we're gonna go with. Okay, we got, we got something to think about this. What was Adam Sandler in? Famous people, Adam Sandler. Uh, Drew Barrymore, Jennifer Aniston. Those are the ways to connect it. They, they seem the obvious ways. Or any comedian. Um, I guess we could go... with man this is this is tough on this one we just gotta click something and, and hope we do okay we're gonna go with Solman Bernie Mac is that Bernie Mac 
Yep, Bernie Mac. It's an American musical comedy directed by Malcolm D. Lee, uh, starring Samuel L. Jackson, Bernie Mac. Uh, Bernie Mac and Isaac Hayes died of unrelated circumstances on August 9th and 10th, 2008, respectively. Bernie Mac, better known as his stage name. Well, Bernard McCall. Uh, better known as Bernie Mac, original Kings of Comedy. So he's on Bad Santa. Ocean's is 12. I mean, uh, yeah, that, that'll get us there. Ocean's 13. Old Dogs. We'll go. Uh, we'll go Ocean's 12. It's 2004 American Comedy Ice film, the first sequel to 2001's Ocean's 11. It was a remake of the 1960 heist film Ocean's 11, directed by S Steven Soderbergh. Star George Clooney, Brad Pitt, Matt Damon, Catherine Zeta Jones, Andy Garcia, Julia Roberts. I messed up on that one. Don Cheeto, Bernie Mac. Was, uh, in my mind, I was thinking uh, of someone else. But we'll go Brad Pitt. Mac, always Brad Pitt. Uh, he's in a bunch of stuff. But we went there to go to Jennifer Aniston. He's an American actress, producer, businesswoman. Uh, recognition playing Rachel Green. Uh, friends from 94 to 2004. And a bunch of movies break up Marley and me just go with it horrible bosses I think just go with it is what we're looking for we're the Millers the good girl never heard of that but uh, just go with it is a 2011 American romantic comedy film directed by Dennis Duggan written by Alan LeBeau and Timothy Dowling starring Adam Sandler also co-produced Jennifer Aniston, Nicole Kidman, Nick Swarston, Brooklyn Decker. Based on the 1969 film Cactus Flower, which was adapted from an earlier Broadway stage play written by Abe Burroughs. So, Adam Sandler. And, uh, you know, his movies. We're, look we're looking for Grown Ups 2. I mean, Kevin James, Chris Rock, David Spade, Nick Swarston, Selma Hayek. Uh, like the first film, it was widely panned by critics. It was nominated for nine Razzies at the 2014 Golden Raspberry Awards. Cameos. Shaquille O'Neal. Nicknamed Shaq, retired American professional basketball player and former rapper. Not sure he's a former rapper, he's just... Doesn't rap as much. Can he be a former rapper? Who's currently an analyst on the television program Inside the NBA? Listed as seven foot one tall, seven feet one inches tall, and weighing three hundred and twenty five pounds. He was one of the heaviest players ever to play in the NBA. O'Neill played for six teams throughout his nineteen year NBA career. Uh, they won three consecutive championships in two thousand, two thousand one. In 2002, thanks to him, Kobe Bryant, and Tim Donahue. Uh, but I guess we can tensions. We just want to go to Kobe Bryant. He also won one with uh, with the Heat in 2006. But we want to go to Kobe Bryant. I see if we could have. I'm not sure if uh, Luke Walton was in. Uh, the NBA at that point. So Kobe, an American retired professional basketball player, 20-year career in Lakers, 18-time All-Star, 15-time member of the All-NBA team, 12-time member of the All-Defensive team, holds the NBA record most seasons playing with one franchise for an entire career. Yep. And so after the Lakers lost the 2004 NBA Finals. I think he was in uh, Luke Walton had to be in the league at that point. Team rosters. Well, the 2004 NBA Finals 
uh, is between the LA Lakers and the Detroit Pistons. Detroit Pistons won four games to one. Okay, so team rosters, LA Lakers, Kobe Bryant, Brian Cook, Derek Fisher, Rick Fox, Devin George, Horace Grant, Carl Malone, last season in the league, Savia, Medvedenko, Gary Payton, who would later go to the Heat and uh, win a championship with uh, Shaq, Kareem Rush, Byron, Byron Russell, Byron Russell, Jamal Sampson, and at the very bottom, Luke Walton. You know what Luke Walton was? 2002 Pac-10 MVP, probably MOP. Let's go. Uh, Luke Walton, American former professional basketball player and current head coach for the Lakers. Played 10 seasons in the NBA as a forward and won two NBA championships with the LA Lakers and won as an assistant coach with the Golden State Warriors. Walton played basketball at the University of Arizona under coach Luke Olson. His best year statistically was as a junior. He averaged 15.7 points, 7.3 rebounds, and 6.3 assists, 1.3 steals, and 0.6 blocks per game. But they don't have any uh, anything there, so that's not a good sign for me. Okay, so back to our goal. We're going to have to go to Pac-10, Arizona. Uh, we'll go to Lute Olson. He's an American retired basketball coach. He coached the University of Arizona's men team for 25 years. He was also the head coach at the University of, University of Iowa for nine years and California, California State University of Long Beach for one season. Coaching highlights, that's a good place. Pac-10 Coach of the Year, maybe. I ever guess the Pac-10, uh, but that wasn't very good. We want head coaching career. Hmm. So all this isn't really there. Five, uh, four Pac-10 tournament championships so we got to the Pac-10 Pac-12 now it's a college athletic conference operates in the western United States and we want basketball conference championships maybe Men's basketball. List of Pac-12 conference champions. Um, men's basketball. Well, there's a big list. Okay, the 2002 is what we're going after. There it is, but uh, we didn't get a link to it. Pac. So we want the actual game. So. We'll just go to the first one we have, 2008 to 2009, but it says it's not there. Uh, we want the 2009 Pac-10 Conference Men's Basketball Tournament. And then we'll go back from there. So in 2009, who won it? Uh, USC, the first time, uh, with Tim Foy, DeMar DeRozan, who plays for the Raptors now. 2008, UCLA, Darren Collison, MVP, champions, 2007, Oregon, 2006, UCLA, 2005, Washington, 2004, Stanford, 2003, Oregon, first title, and 2002. Luke, Luke 
Thompson winning coach. Arizona was their fourth title, and the MVP was Luke Walton. Look at that. We were able to do it. I'm glad you went on this little journey with me. Uh, not sure what you learned, maybe about basketball and actors. You learned that Shaq was in Grown Ups too. Not really sure what else there's there in this one. Maybe next time we can spread out a little bit. Luke Olson, Kobe Bryant, there's a Shaq and Kobe feud, Grown Ups 2, Bernie Mac. Yeah, I mean, a lot of that was uh, connected through film again. It's not my fault. That's just what we got. Level 42 is where we started. You start out with a band and you have to go to basketball. You could have probably found a few other ways. Gotten there a little bit quicker. So, I'll probably put a link in the description. Never heard of level 42. Something about you. I guess uh, I could check it out now, but I can't show you that video because then I'd get in trouble. Lessons in love and something about you to the Pac-10 2002 tournament. That's it.